General Motors has just named a new CEO. It is Mary Barra, formerly a VP, and she's the first woman to run a major global automaker. Now, Greg Keenan is on this story. First of all, who is Mary Barra? Mary Barra is a longtime General Motors executive. She's been there almost her entire career, and her most recent job was as Vice President of Global Product Development, which is a critical role in any automaker and prepares her well to be the Chief Executive Officer. So what challenges will she face, and what challenges does GM face in the future? Well, the biggest one is the challenge GM faces, which is fixing Europe. Europe has been a disaster for GM and many automakers for a long time, you know, mid-recession in almost all countries. Vehicle sales are terrible. GM's got a mix of products there and a mix of brands that they're starting to sort out and starting to fix. And we're seeing a little bit of improvement in, in Europe, but that is really the key thing that they need to fix right now. Mm -hmm. And now I think a lot of us like to think we live in a post-sexist society, but still there are a lot of you know firsts for females as in this role here. So uh, can we talk about that a little bit, the significance of her taking the helm at GM? Well, part of it is that this, if you talk about sexism, one of the things about Detroit and the automakers is that for a long, long time it's been a boys club. It's starting to change. It's changing quite a bit. GM Canada had one several years ago, Maureen Kempston Darks. Ford Canada has had two. Its second CEO is a woman now, Diane Craig. So this is starting to change in sort of smaller regional outposts, but it's the first time we've seen one at one of the major automakers in the world. And what do you expect to see from Mary Barra? I think what the analysts are saying is more teamwork, uh, perhaps, than we've seen um, with male CEOs, perhaps more attention to the softer side of the business, perhaps. I'm not sure how you can talk about that in a car company being, you know, hard manufacturing, hard products, you know, cars and trucks. But I think we'll see some of that as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Greg. Thank you.